everyone. Farmers are turning to organic pesticides as a safer and environmentally friendly alternative of protecting their crops from pests. For two years now, Kennedy, a coffee farmer in Mukono district, has been making organic pesticides and we are interested in learning how he does this. Follow along as he takes us through the steps. My name is John Kenneth Kulubia. I'm 27 years old. I'm the founder and the vision bearer of Best Solutions Farm Supply Limited. I realized that money to sustain our coffee plantation was not really available. And I came up with the interest in coming up with organic pesticides such that we really reduce the costs of buying medicines and at which some of them are fake this skill is so unique. Why? It's really easy to learn, requires less capital to start up, and the best thing is that the materials are locally available. Today I'm going to teach you on how to make organic pesticides. To achieve this, Janet from Sour World is going to, us, to help me. Step one, we shall need two handfuls of garlic. They cost 2,000 shillings and this garlic acts as repellent to the pests like amphids and earthworms. When we break them into these pieces, our pounding will be eased. purpose of pounding the garlic? Well, we pound the garlic such that we, we make smaller particles which will easily decompose into the formulation which we are going to make today. Now that you have pounded and the particles are smaller than they were before, the next, the next step is to put them into the bucket. So we are going to use this cup to measure a quarter liter of water. So this is a half, but when we put in the middle, it will be the quarter. After pouring the quarter liter of water, we can shake for some little time. Then we can store our formulation in a cool, dry place. The next step is the jinga. This jinga, we need two handfuls, and each handful costs 2,000 shillings. After breaking, completely breaking all the ginger into smaller pieces, we are going to pound it. We put our pounded ginger into the bucket or container and we keep it. We store it in a cool, dry place for one week. We shall also put a quarter liters of water. A quarter liters of water will be a half of this cup. Yeah, we shall use six lemons and each lemon, all the lemons will be costing 2,000 shillings. So we cut our lemon into small pieces for easy grounding. And this purpose of the lemons in our concentration will be acting as a preservative. For the lemon, we partially ground it. We don't pound it, ground it like we did for the case of garlic and ginger. So we put the ingredients in separate containers to avoid chemical reactions, because we are dealing with things which all have different reactions. Next, we shall get half handful of chili, and this chili we shall cost 1,000 shillings. So this chili has two functions. It acts both as a repellent and a chirurative ingredient. It helps to chew the, 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 victim, the, the leaves which have been attacked by the aphids and the locusts. 
Next, we shall pound the purple leaves. We shall need a full bucket of purple leaves that we shall pound. The importance of these purple leaves is to enable to control the insects which have mouthparts that are chewing. Next, we shall have the Frosia, and its local name is Moloko. It can be found in the nearby plantations or personally grown by the farmer. Next, next we shall have Tithonia. Its local name is called Echimiola, and its importance in our formulation is to help decomposition to be effective and fast. So we shall need a container when it is full. Next, we need half container of a, of a plant called African mild gold. Its, its local name is called Kaunira. And the importance of African mild gold is to act as a repellent in our formulation. After storing our pounded ingredients for one week in their different containers, we mix them together in one make big container. On mixing them together, we shall add ash. So what's the purpose of the ash in the organic pesticide? Okay, the purpose of uh, of ash in our organic pesticide solution is to add the mineral content which is iron into our solution such that the coffee has iron for its quality production. So we have we put one full plate of ash into the solution. We mix all the ingredients together to form a common solution which is later kept for one more week before we save it. So we shall put our basin under the mesh which is going to collect the formulation which is being going to save it, which is going to be saved. So we are putting our solution onto the wire mesh so to enhance is a is is a saving, you can also press onto, onto the ingredients. Our next step is the secondary saving. We did our first saving, but because sometimes particles continuously remain behind, so we do the secondary saving using the sieve. So after the secondary sieving, we are going to add animal urine. The importance of adding this animal urine is because it has toxicity, which toxicity can enable for killing the pests that come to our coffee. This animal urine can be derived from animals like cows, pigs, and rabbits. So we are putting half liters of urine we can come up with different packaging materials like the 5 liters which cost 3500 or we can use recycle bottles. You can develop a sticker. This sticker costs 300 shillings. So this sticker can be put on your product that you have packaged so that it makes your product outstanding. The final step is adding our concentration into our packaging. So finally, we are going to add the water into our concentration. So we add, the reason of adding this water is that we make our solution or concentration balanced such that we don't, we control toxicity. And now here is our final product ready for sale and it goes for only 18,000 shillings.